Your Excellencies, dignitaries, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is with immense gratitude and profound sense of appreciation that I stand before you today witnessing the remarkable gathering of individuals from diverse corners of our nation and across the globe. Your presence here underscores the unwavering commitment and collective determination towards the cause of peace. This convergence of minds and hearts from various backgrounds and regions serves as a powerful testament to the sharing vision and a common goal that unites us all. The pursuit for lasting peace and stability in Somalia and beyond. Your commitment to this event is not only deeply welcomed, but also signifies a pivotal moment in our journey towards progress and reconciliation. It is with great honor and profound happiness that we co-host this event, seizing yet another opportunity to contribute towards the establishment of peace. Together we embark on this noble mission with a shared dedication to fostering harmony and prosperity in our nation and beyond. Our gathering occurs amid a world grappling with conflict and displacement, with numerous ongoing conflict and millions displaced. The imperative for peace has never been more urgent. Today, Somalia stands at a critical juncture in its history. Our country continues to deal with complex issues, including the ongoing threat posed by different groups to our peace and stability. While progress has been made, our journey towards lasting peace remains fraught with obstacles. It is imperative that we proceed with meticulous care to ensure stability in recently liberated regions. We must implement tangible measures to fortify our country, enabling it to address the needs of its population, foster peaceful relations with neighboring nations, and elevate Somalia's global standard. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we convene today, I extend a warm welcome to our well-known and established interna international partners, as well as to the new friends of the Principles for Peace in Geneva. Acknowledging the significant impact of the varied perspectives and voices within our nation, we highlight the crucial contribution that they can provide in shaping the Principles for Peace. As an advocate, advocate for peace, we have been actively engaged in many peace-making collective initiatives. Similarly, the principle for peace represents the culmination of collaborative efforts that engage peace builders worldwide and an esteemed international commission. With respect to members such as Dr. Khadija Asub Ali on its governing board, the principles for peace bring in invaluable insight to our collective endeavor for peace. In welcoming all the partners gathering in, in here today, we embrace our common principles of humility and mutual respect. Your presence demonstrates the spirit of international cooperation that underpins our collective aspirations. This launch of the principles for peace occurs at a very significant occasion as coincides with the completion of the review process of the National Reconcil Reconciliation Framework, NRF, which the Ministry of Interior has just concluded and validated in December last year. I am also happy that Principles for Peace program has been emerged and harmonized with the new NRF version, the NRF's coherency with, the, with and harmony with the Principles for Peace illustrates the mutual interconnectedness of our peace-building endeavors. NRF serves as a comprehensive frame, framework, a strategy, an outlook for our collective pursuit for peace, conflict resolution, and reconciliation. The National Reconciliation Framework and its annexed National Reconciliation Plan 
which outlines key entry points and activities of each of the six pillars has been help helpful in aligning with the core values and approaches of the principles for peace. When viewed through the lens of the principles for peace principles, we find a striking alignment between the guiding principles and the pillars of the National Reconciliation Framework. For instance, the principles for legitimacy in trust is with efforts to rebuild the trust in government and support national recovery, while accountable security aligns with restoring community relations, relationship and confidence in government institutions. Dignity and solidarity emphasizes healing past grievances and fostering community boundaries, while pluralism advocates for a diverse and, and culturally sensitive approach to reconciliation. This congruency between the principles for peace and the NRP signals a shared vision and potential for collaborative progress toward sustainable peace and development. Furthermore, the adaptable nature of the principles for peace demonstrated through the successful customization in various contexts offers a promising opportunity to tailor interventions to address Somalia's unique needs and dynamics. In addition, the principles and core values of ensuring in the principles for peace also reflect and practically reinforce our culture and faith. These principles with our existing frameworks and approaches to peace present us an, an auspicious opportunity to leverage collective strengths and venture together toward toward this enduring peace and prosperity in our nation. Your Excellencies, dignitaries, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to thank you all for your time and participation to this historic event. Special thank you to the Principles for Peace team and the Ministry team who have jointly organized this gathering. I'm eagerly looking forward to the discussions that will take place during this event and to the contributions from all particip participants who will surely provide diverse perspectives that help it design relevant actions and activities to implement the principles for peace in our country. Thank you all for your attention and thank you to the Prime Minister to attend this event.